Hello YouTube, my name is Woodsy and today we're in a game that is not Isaac. It is a game that is a rogue light, however. It is called Star Wars Rogue. It's not Star Wars, Star Word. And uh, it just came out a little while ago. I played around a little bit. Uh, this one got completion 9% so far, so that's kind of cool. But what it is, it's a top-down shooter. It's much more bullet heavy than I'm used to. Most, almost all the enemies can do some form of bullet hell, but it has the common tropes um, of the roguelike genre. It has the permadeath, the randomized starts and items. It has uh, consumables. It has boss fights, going down to the next floors, etc., etc. Stuff that you uh, can find on all the fun roguelites. And we're just going to start a new run. We have six characters that we can play as. This came out uh, two or three days ago. The developer was nice enough to send me a copy, so here I am. Uh, we are going to, this is the base one, very average except for having high health, the ring hands easy using control, great, great against crowds, we got a flame tank, indigo dipole, uh, green envy, deep blue, and red shift, and then we, each one also has their own abilities, they're all stats as you can see, uh, the, let's see, we can play in temp dev mode, which means, uh, the single run essentially develop mode, which contain mer many Various debugging features, I'm assuming like uh, invincibility, things like that. Play with everything unlocked if you want, but you won't get any achievements for either of those. We can do all the difficulties. Misery. Currently in preparation and intended to be on par with the Tuhu series, Toho, Tuhu, in difficulty and boat murdered in insanity. No, I don't want that. I want normal. We're just going to play the normal guy. Uh, the very first run I had. I got to the fourth out of five floors. So here's you. On the left you can see my health at the top including shield with the blue bar. XP is 400, that's how much more I need. Zero out of eight health shards. Every time I pick up, when I pick up eight health shards it gives me plus one HP. Uh, zero key cards, zero credits, which is money. Key cards are keys. Level 1, obviously, floor 1. And then there's a primary weapon, we can shoot with that. There are many modifiers and things like that too, so that's kind of crazy. We have our our energy gun, which essentially, it's just something you hit and it blasts around us with right trigger. Missiles, which is right below it, which you can hit with space bar. Boom, does a missile blast AoE. And the empty spot, which is, uh, I think, F. It's a use item. But anyways, we have our map up at the top right. If you can, you can barely see it. That is green. It is a shop. There you are. Oh no, that's just an item room. So what would we do if we get this? Dual shot with average rate of fire. Fires around and explodes into many bouncing bullets. So that would be the the ability I'd be switching out for. So we go like that and we can go boom. Which is kind of cool, right? But I like the, uh, the bouncing shots. I think it's kind of cool. Anyways, the story is that you are this woken up VI, AI, whatever it is you want to call it, and you start out, and you have to save a, uh, I guess the leader AI of the ship. To the best of my knowledge, that's what it was. Uh, I played through the tutorial rather quickly, so I don't recall too much. Anyways, we got destructive stuff, we got lasers, which of course I can blow up with my shots. These dudes can, of course, shoot through walls, whereas I cannot. Um, let's try not to get too damaged. You can't destroy those to the best of my ability, to the best of my knowledge. But anyways, you go along, you kill stuff. It's bullet heli. You keep on killing stuff. You shoot a missile. The bosses I've found are relatively easy. At least with the few that I've found so far. What did that give me? That gave me three credits. Cool. Here's a key card. I can use it to open doors. Bet you weren't expecting that. But no, uh, the bosses that I've fought so far haven't been incredibly difficult. I mean, they've been they've been difficult, obviously, but they haven't been to a point where you know I almost can't I can't do it. Whoa, you guys scare me. I don't know what you can do, but you scare me. Um, I don't know what's happening. Okay. Uh, as with most bullet hell games, bullet hell-esque games, I don't know what's going on a lot of the time, and I have trouble parsing everything that's happening at once, so 
I will, I'm just saying that to be honest with you, if I suck really badly, that's because I suck really badly. And I am freaking terrible at bullet hell s games and dodging these. A lot of people are really good, I'm not, I was never that big of a fan of bullet hells. The only thing I even have as a reference is the Binding of Isaac, some of the bosses. Whoa, I clicked out. Oh no, I clicked out of the game. Okay. <laughs> there are no, there are currently no options. Oh, and I just blew up. There are currently no options. So I could set it, you know, full screen, widescreen, blah, 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 blah. Let's just, um, yeah, let's just start a new run. Why not? This is, this is still very, very basic. It just came out. It seems you start out with an item room somewhat close. Wave of shots destroys projectiles. That's kind of cool, but I still love my, my blasty shots, so that's what we're going to do. And these things always give you either money or consumables or something like that. I don't know, that is a turret that I cannot kill, which scares me. Okay, you scare me as well. Okay, I don't even know what the hell's going on there. Um, okay, get away if you can. This game is going to wreck me and cause unholy damage to my psyche. But I will continue on! Can you not start, like, can you st not start a map where I literally walk into fire? I mean, is that possible? Can you not give me complete and total BS? But whatever. Yeah, go check it out. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Do I have? I have no key cards, so I can't really do anything there yet. That's a chest, isn't it? Looks like a chest. Hey, I can buy a key card for seven credits. I can buy a tiny damage boost for five. Break these. Pretty high chance you get at least something out of it. Uh, press E to spend five credits to purchase 40 experience points. Every single time, even when I had the money to do that, I actually couldn't. It was kind of odd. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug or if I'm doing something wrong. I have only done about three or four runs of this. But nonetheless, it is a fun game. Okay, well, I have a keycard at least now. Please don't kill me. I just got a keycard. I want to see what that red, what red room is. The red room. Sorry, my... Uh, my English is not too good. I am a native speaker, but that doesn't mean anything. Can I gain, like, my shield energy back? <laughs> okay. Okay, now that we have enough credits, I'm gonna go buy probably both damage boosts in that shop, so... Green Latri Latisse Widow. Hmm, interesting. Got some crazy stuff. We haven't, to the best of my knowledge, I haven't run into any bugs. I haven't run into lag. I haven't run into really much problem. Uh, the only problems that I have is because there's no menu item or menu option. I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's do a weapon shop before I buy anything. So we have 16 creds. Cannot buy that. Make it rain. Reduces. That's actually kind of good. Uh, sacrifice stats for 120 plus max HP. Max energy. I don't really want to do that. Uh, I will buy two of the damage boosts. So now we have higher damage. We don't have higher range, but we have higher damage. Um, I will not spend the money to pick up on those, mainly because I don't care. Is there, there's a door up here? I don't have a way to... Oh, okay, yeah. You can see in the map that... Not all areas lead to accessible doors, if that makes any sense. Get out of here, I don't want your crazy ass, uh... Okay, those can't actually be destroyed. Uh, you can level up in this game, which is what the XP thing is. After a certain amount... Uh, I can't go in there yet. Oh, there you are. After a certain amount of XP, then you get a level. One of your key cards to unlock. I don't want to do that. Consumable shops, I don't really care. Okay, that's more HP. Okay. One thing I do like about this game a lot, the visual style is pretty cool. It's very vibrant, and that's what I like. Uh, another thing is the... Ooh, nice, more missiles. I already have all missiles, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go buy that keycard just in the off chance that I need 
need it for something that's not a consumable shop because I don't care. But yeah, I really like the visuals. I really love the music. The music is super banging. I love it. It's it's amazing. I it's electronic, kinda e. Sounds like something I'd you know find on Spotify or something like that maybe. And I like it. I like this game. Uh, I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible at bullet hells in general. I can't destroy turrets, which I think is jabberwocky, but you know, to each their own. I can't really say much about. Uh. Okay, uh, can you not shoot at me, please? I know this game is about shooting at me, but if you could just not do like literally what I just asked. Okay. Woohoo! Ah. Those things are going to be the death of me. Okay. Okay, that thing summons drones. I see now. Kind of ridiculous. Oh, get out of my face. Okay, cool. What's that? Is that a shield? Orbiting battle station. So this is a temporary ally, and I can use it with, I don't know, something. But anyways, here's the red. Here's the boss. Mirror Mark 1. Okay. Uh, now let us see. I'm trying to see what it is that I can use to, uh... Eh. I know that I have the missiles. Uh, I'm trying to remember how it is. I use my... There it is. F. Okay. F is the temporary ally thing, which is fine because it blocked a few shots, that's all I really care about. The key to bullet hills that I've learned is you don't really need move much, you just need to pay attention to wherever it is that you actually are. Nice, see? Level up, cool. Uh, phase module. Taking damage will phase you. That's weird, but I like it. It's a upgrade. Press E to upgrade. Okay. So here's the first level up. We can get plus 25 energy, which will do well for our weapons, plus 10 damage, or increase max HP by two. I think we'll do damage because the whole point of games, obviously, is to, is, oh, okay. I was trying to go back and get those missiles, but whatever. What the heck? Okay, so you can do this. Buy four items before leaving this floor for a bonus. So you can take this bonus if you'd like. And, it, and it'll give me more credits on the next floor. It'll give me that bonus. Plus 25 credits, plus 3 key cards, plus 5 missiles on the next floor. So that's kind of cool, right? And we can upgrade this. And now I have this, which I like. We will, we will use it. And we will see if it's any good. If it is, then cool. Uh, so far it doesn't seem terrible. And it seems I'm getting a crazy amount of stuff, so... Okay, so yeah, that was a health shark, actually. Mm, that seems like it's okay, but for tight corridors, it doesn't seem like it does well. Especially for, you know, what it is I'm trying to do. But, hey, we'll take it. If we like it, we like it. If we don't, we don't. Whatever, right? Uh, there's no secret rooms, is there? Not that I know of. Okay, cool. Okay, and like I said, we're just gonna we're just gonna exist. We're just gonna try and do stuff. Yeah. Oh, that was actually that was freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, oh, they chased me. Okay. It seems like. Yeah, the spread shot really does help. I think. Eh. So as you can see, those chests there. They give me those health shards, and like I said, whenever I get eight of them, I get, um... Ah, that hurts me. Nice. Leveled up really quickly again, actually. Received double healing from health gains. 5% chance to regain one health on kills. You have 5% to avoid taking damage when hit. I think taking damage is a much better idea. Because, as I was trying to say with the boss fight, the whole point of roguelites is... To not get hit. So obviously, if we can have a 5% chance to avoid that once again, then that's even better. 
wouldn't you say? You would. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man. Just know that, uh... Oh, got missiles. Oh, well, those are missiles. What's this? Mysterious circuit. Function currently unknown. Well, you know what we're gonna try, right? We're gonna try to know it. I have two key cards. Should I open this? The robot shop. Ooh, what's that? Set things on fire. Makes light shows. Uh, fires, at fires attacks in your direction. That does not hurt you. Uh, my whole thing is to try and buy four items before leaving the shop. Okay, before leaving this floor. Okay. Then I'm not going to buy that currently because if I can find four items that are, you know, like five, ten credits a piece, then I already have all the money that I need and I can just do it and get the bonus, right? Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, good. Glad we had this talk. Let's check on down here. Um, excuse you. Can you not, like, shoot blasts in my area? I would appreciate it. Yeah. Ah, the triple shot only works so well. Okay. Well, it's not. Oh man, I I literally just walked into that, didn't I? Eh. Yes. Are we done? Are we done? Please tell me we're done. This is scaring me. We've taken a lot of damage on this floor or on this room. A lot of damage. I don't want to deal with. It. Okay. Seems like those shots are blocked. Or block mine. Uh, any money? Eh, well, yeah, that's money. Ho! Oh, okay, we're dead. We're probably gonna die. Well, I already got hit, right? Yep, okay. Well, either way, as you can see, that's the game. You build up, you go down, you fight more bosses, you get to the end. I haven't gotten to the end yet, but it's still a fun game regardless. I freaking enjoy the heck out of it. It's helping me get better with bullet hells or helping me get a lot worse with bullet hells. Either way, it's a it's a plus for me. It also has crazy visuals. Look behind it. That's, that's just a crazy background, isn't it? But anyways, that's this game, Star Wars Rogue. Check it out. Put a link down in the description. Steam. I don't know if they have their own website. I'll look if they do. I'll link that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more roguelites, that's me. I do roguelites every day, mainly The Binding of Isaac, but other ones as well, kind of like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.